So with the shoulder sequence, we're going through a whole variety of movements where you can get the lat stretched out, internal and external rotation, um, and we're activating things as we go. So, first position, and the holds are going to be, we'll say ballpark, you know, five to ten seconds, and then we're going to go through about five reps with the scapular gliding or sliding the shoulder away. So we start out square, first hold the stretch, and then go through activation so you're not bending your elbow, just move through your shoulder blade. Then you're going to open up the leg, and I would do all of these on one arm and then change sides. So, I've already done this, you're going to go ahead and turn about 45 degrees to create some space in the shoulder, and then go through as much internal and external rotation as possible. From there, I'm going to go back to a square position and drop the same side foot back. And it's going to lengthen that line. Same idea, go through your slides. And then, if you're able, open up to that side so the arm's going directly overhead. Support yourself on the thigh. And same idea, you can go through some movement. Now from here, you transition right into the pec stretch. So just to give you a better feel for it, you're going to externally rotate as much as you can. So turn that thumb all the way out, and then I want you to squeeze the band so get a good grip on it. Firing these flexors in the forearm, it's going to keep your elbow in a more supported position. And then all you're doing is trying to turn your chest away. You should feel a nice stretch down the chest and shoulder. Now from here, you can engage and then rotate a little further. So use PNF, actively engage the muscle, and then go into further stretch. And then the last part, we're just going to pull into internal rotation. Keep an eye on the height as far as where you have your band configured. Um, if it's too high, you're not trying to rip your shoulder off. And then we're just going to go into internal rotation hold that position. So with the static holds, you're looking at say 10 seconds, 15 seconds on the high side, five reps moving through the shoulder blade, not through the elbow. And definitely remember when you go into your pec and delt, after you rotate, squeeze that band, get your forearm flexors in the game, keep your elbow nice and safe.